so this is the next in the series of quick os reviews and today we have something back from 2009 so this one is called xpud or xpud xpud whatever you want to call it so let's go ahead and turn on our virtual box and uh, let's see how that operating system looks like so first of all it's a live boot only uh, I can select English it starts expert goes into a, a larger screen now this doesn't support uh, much resolution this is the resolution that I am getting right now so of course the UI looks and is actually very very simple alright so the UI looks pretty simple again as I said it was for the time when the operating systems were uh, when such network based operating systems were coming out I'll go ahead and show you guys the product page or the operating system about page so uh, the OS actually where uh, is around 35 MB and most of it is web based now if I go at home uh, there were something saying yes 256 megabytes of RAM and only 64 megabytes of free hard disk space is required to run this operating system now yes this is back from 2009 um, if I go to the download page um, there are all the ISO images that you would need and from the forum uh, it, I don't think it would open it did open okay so it was based on Google groups so um this is the forum and the last post was on 2010 a couple of posts from 2012 and that's about it um there has been no further development i i i'd guess from 2009 but we'll go ahead and see that so let's go ahead and open up first of all terminal and emulator because i really want to see what linux it is running now uh, as you would notice the terminal emulator does not have any sort of bordered window now uh, on the corner on the top uh, right corner we have the minimize expand and cross options so you can expand it and this is what the ui looks like or like a page uh, that's what they are trying to uh, imitate right there and then if you cross it it will go back so let's go ahead and open up terminal emulator and enter your name a so this is back from 2.6 so linux 2.6 and um we are december 7th uh this is the time uh and 2009 so yes this is from way back from 2009 um let's go ahead and open up firefox web browser the web is running and then again the apps open up in this uh, weird kind of a window or not exactly a window i'd say like a page of a diary or something so let's go ahead and open up youtube let's see if it still works i i, I think it probably will because youtube is something that's um supported but um i'm yes yeah, so well i guess youtube doesn't even support this so it does say oops your browser is no longer supported um that's about that it won't play any videos or anything it did uh, okay so we can op practically open up um a youtube main page and let's go ahead and play something more interesting So the video playback is fine i doubt it's it will be running html5 anytime soon but um this looks like the uh, java based player now i don't even think that something like this um i'm just i'm literally just waiting for the video to start i really want it to work so the youtube player just shows up and it won't be working anytime soon uh, it is based on adobe flash and i i don't think it would work so i'll just leave it there so uh, and i'll cancel it out the next we have some web apps so facebook web app now from web app i think they basically just mean um 
links to different web pages and that's about it and also I can't seem to actually exit the web app and I'll see if alt f4 works alright so I am back I uh, got stuck at Facebook for some reason and it wouldn't actually go to the web app I mean it went to not the proper web app but a website kind of a thing and then something like a uh, you know full screen browser uh, a kiosk mode or something like that but it then did not come back at all so let's open up uh, another one and see if it does the same thing uh, I'm not very sure giving my uh, Google account right now um, okay so again this is all So as you can see a lot of apps that were already uh, pre-installed are now in completely incompatible. Um, again YouTube works but now I really don't know how I am going to get out of this. The UI doesn't work on web apps for some reason. Doing Alt F4 doesn't change anything. And Alright, so I am officially giving up on any sort of web apps on this OS. They can't, uh, you can't get back from them. So again, you get three main applications, web uh, web browser, terminal and media play. Now media play is just the gnome, old gnome play. Everything on this is ancient, back from 2009. But um, let's go ahead into file. So this is basic file system, uh, file manager. You can just uh, go ahead and browse different files and stuff like that. Nothing to see. Now here we have something like system info. Now this is really interesting. For some reason they gave a really nice application to have a detailed look at uh, the system specs. So of course this uh, the output they are giving is something like that of LSCPU uh, or PROC CPU but um, it's pretty good good to have that then we have memory again very detailed info network would be if config modules probably um, mod prob um, processes uh, does not look like top but uh, I'm not very sure uh, the, so the kernel messages debug messages and uh, file systems this is um, yeah this is uh, f stab uh, this is uh, etc slash f stab and then so yes they have uh, really given out the system info like a collection of commands and that works really well um, going back we have options to set up our wi-fi then again it was made for a netbook kind of a device so that's that opt get so this um, is something that they did they had their own package manager i'm not very sure what opt get is i have heard of apt get of course L let's google what opt get gives us So again it was for PUD PUD which is which this is XPUD and um, this is all you get so a custom package manager stuff um, for this particular operating system I guess uh, and so this is the full blown version of the OS that I'm showing you guys right now but I uh, did have kind of a uh, expert becomes became the uh, lighter version for netbooks and stuff so let's get back and uh, I don't know if the repo repos are still maintained and let's go ahead and download some things let's download something like a dropbox so it looks like the servers are working fine uh, the the PUD package manager has not been discontinued 
so we are downloading uh, at a terrible download speed so uh, while it's downloading uh, let's go ahead and take a look at other things language time and date backup and well that's about it so it doesn't really have too much again a very lightweight distro just 60 just 60 30 35 megabytes all right so we are back uh, and um, the packages have downloaded the package has downloaded um, so I am not able to install it i don't know how i should install this it is um x package but uh yeah no clear instructions on installing this so it just downloads the packages and uh no clear instructions on how to install said packages hmm Alright, so um, this is about it, a tiny little operating system back from 2009 called Expert based on Linux 2.6. Um, have great idea, died too soon. That's about it. So thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.